to show you how to create a spinning wheel. So this spinning wheel can be spun by walking over it and pressing space. And if I hit this green dot, then I will win a little prize. Okay, I won my gold coin. As you can see, the chance to win is not as high as uh, the chance to lose. So how is this done? It, this is an interacting, and this interacting will trigger a dynamic block whenever you touch it, whenever you hit it. And depending on the chance in the interacting script, you will win a coin or you lose. So let's start to deconstruct this. Let me put the interacting base um, into the creator. As you can see, both cells are the same. It's actually set to non-flipping, so nothing will happen here. Let's take a look at the script. So it says touches, which means hitting space when over it, and the chance is 50. Then you do the spinning wheel win dynamic or motion, either way. And you also play a little um, glitchy rainbow run sound. Otherwise, if we are not lucky, we play the normal spinning wheel animation, um, which will not end with the green dot on top. So this looks pretty simple. A lot of the, a lot of the details are in the actual dynamics that we linked here. You can see we got a spinning wheel and spinning wheel win object included here. As you probably know, this is how you include an object. So let me close this again and open the dynamic object. So this dynamic block is made up of three parts. One is the wheel and one is the stand and one, I don't know what this is called, the little the little red um, thing on top. Uh, my English lacks vocabulary here. <laughs> um, this is the script for the dynamic and this means at second zero right at the start show all the cells because we need all three cells to compose the full spinning wheel. But then we switch around the Z index a bit. For example we want we want this to show behind this and then we're setting the pivot for cell 3 because if we rotate this normally it would sort of rotate along this pivot. Uh, we actually want the pivot to be here so that it will sort of, let me draw this, that it will sort of rotate from here to here Control Z, Control Z, and then from from second zero to four, we rotate it by 880 degrees, which means more than twice around the clock, which happens to end up right with this green at the top, and these commands here are to rotate this red line that we saw before. So it just always flips a bit to the right and then flips back. At the end, at second eight, we are rotating the wheel back to its base position so that it will not look confusing because it will switch back to the interacting graphic afterwards. And after 10 seconds, we are restarting. The restart is actually the end of the dynamic because then the interacting will take over again. So we won't save this. Let me try to find the non-winning 
spinning wheel. So this one, it doesn't rotate 880 degrees, it rotates 720, which means two full circles. So the green dot will end up in a losing position. Let me show you again. This would... <laughs> So this was 720 degrees, go around once, go around twice, and we lose. Okay, and of course when we win, we want to win a gold coin. So what did I do here? I just used gives gold coin at the end. And I made sure to include the gold coin here. And you can see this is an item, so it can be held. Now when I'm winning, the avatar will speak a few lines, it will say dot dot dot, then I included two spaces to give it a small break, and then it will say I feel lucky. And these curly brackets around it mean don't let the interacting itself speak, but let the one who is interacting speak it by themselves. Mm, there's a little success ding at the end. Let me try to find this success three. Mm, I right click to play and this is the extra sound when I'm winning. Now one thing to note is that the chance for the winnings, uh, the winning spin is actually not 50% because as you probably know interactings will choose any random line for conversations or any other code. So in this case the chance would be the overall chance would be 25% for this line uh, not only to be picked but also to be available because if the chance 50 function uh, will result in false then it will not be able to pick at all. Then it will not be able to pick this line at all. So it's roughly 25% I think. So I hope you enjoyed this little this little video tutorial for the spinning wheel and I'll make the wheel available as clonable and I will make the dynamic available as clonable so maybe you can have a try yourself to modify it or maybe you have other ideas how to spice it up a little. Okay, thank you and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.